everybody, it's Sean with Singular.Live. Welcome back. We're going to go over Singular Studio and we're going to round out all of the functionality that Singular Studio has. Uh, there's looping, timers. Uh, we're going to go into some of the elements that I use in order to uh, strategize how I create my shows. And in order to do that, uh, I'm going to bring you into the current package that I'm running right now because that's how we like to do things here at Singular. We like to do it live and we recommend you do the same thing. So I'm operating this graphics package using Studio right now. Uh, so I'll show it to you. Here it is. Um, this, is my, uh, this is my main rundown. By rundown, this is the list of pages that I've made and edited for this particular show. And what I've done is I've uh, created something called playlists, okay? When you first open up a, a, a studio show, you're gonna have a default playlist and a blank, a blank rundown. And you go into this, this button right here and you start adding templates, okay? And I'm gonna show, remind you right now that again, these are templates. And when you bring a template into here, it becomes a page because now you're gonna be editing that page. Again, you can bring in duplicate pages at this front, built from the same template. And when you do that, you can create uh, pretty cool graphics in playlists. And that's what I want to show you today, okay? So playlists are a great way to organize your pages based on a, a group of pages you may want to control a unique way from another group. And it also allows you to kind of move on and forget about a playlist that's active on air. So right now I've created this ticker playlist. I'll show you some of those pages. It takes me a while to create those, so I, you'll, you'll put those in your rundown, and I'll show you how to operate that soon. But so you see I have my playlist here just so you get an idea of that. But I want to add one right now, and I want to double-click on the title, and I'm going to call this one Bugs. And in order to start adding to this playlist, I could do a couple of things. I could go over here and I could, I could grab one and I can right click it and move and I can move a page to bugs. But for now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna add a template from my upper right layer to line large. All right, so I've got this, uh, I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna tell you about timers now. I've got this new page that I put into this bug playlist. And when I select it, I'm going to edit it a little bit here. I'm going to call it bug one. And for the title, I'm going to put RC Stream Studio. And for the subheader, I'm going to say recorded live. All right. Now, timers are really cool because you can, I'm going to take this off just so you get an idea here of what I'm saying. There we go. You can add a certain duration in seconds, I'm gonna put five seconds on this one, that you want to define this page to be on air for when you take it. So I'm gonna take it, because it has a five second duration, it's going to stay on air, it's gonna come on air. There it is. After five seconds, it's gonna go off air. It's very useful, because I'm a solo streamer and I don't have much time. <laughs> I wanna set it and I wanna forget it, all right? I wanna move on with my life. Let's do that again. Take it on, five second timer, it's on air, and it goes off air when it's done. Of course, I can create, I can keep it on air as long as I want to with this duration, okay? But the most important thing that you know about timers after that is that it unlocks more functionality, all right? So if I start to uh, duplicate this page, I can put it into an auto advance list, okay? So this playlist, once I start to duplicate this bug, then duplicate this one right here, I'm gonna call this one bug two. Now when you duplicate, the cool thing about duplicating is that of course it retains all the information, including the duration from the page you duplicated it from. So I'm gonna call this one uh, Burbank, California. And then I'm gonna right click on this and duplicate that again. And I'm gonna call this one Studio Tools. Good, I like it. And I'm gonna right click and duplicate it again. And I'm gonna say here, these are kind of what I call su little subjects to remind people what they're watching. So I'm gonna go in here and say uh, timers and loops, all right? So I've got four pages in this playlist. You can make put as many pages into a playlist as you like. And they all have come in with five second tam timers because I duplicated them from the same template, right? The same page. Now, I'm going to go in and I'm just going to press play on this first one. 
and I'm going to put this feature on called Auto Advance. And now that Auto Advance is on, it's telling this whole playlist to play through once all of the pages that have timers on them, and then to go off when it's done at a single pass. So it's almost done here. It's completed its single pass, and it is going to go off air now. Now you can see that because these are duplicated playlists, we'll do that again. Notice that that graphic is not going off air. They're the same pages. I've just changed the content, so it's cycling through that content. Burbank, California. What are we, let's remind us what we're looking at. Studio tools, okay, great. And what else, anything else you got there? Yes, timers and loops, cool, that's what we're doing. And I can keep that on air, right, until a designated time by which I want it to go off, and that is an auto playlist. Now, cool thing about this is that you can actually start saying, you know, I really would like to, um, you know what, I wanna do an auto advance for my ticker playlist and I put seven second duration on each one of my ticker scenes and I am going to take this playlist on. Now you can see my I, I have active graphics in a playlist. This indicator will turn on. This little red spot turns on. It says you have an active graphic that is in that playlist right now. Okay. Now I'm going to go over to my bug playlist and I want that one to stay on air. I, I don't want it to come off at all. I want it to just set it, play it, and forget it, and I'm moving on with my life. I have auto log, and now I'm going to show you about looping because this main playlist, when I strategize the show, this thing is, this is the layer that, this is the playlist that I really want to focus on. This is the one that I need to say, okay, uh, I need to, to really, um, I, I, these are the ones that I need to take on air, off air, at the time when I, I specifically want them to go on air and off air, okay? So my main layer is what I focus my attention on. But look at this. I've got, a, I've got an auto advance going on with my ticker. So that's going to go off when it's finished with its playlist. And then I've got my looping bug layer that's going to go on until I tell it to come off because it's on a loop. That is looping and auto advance with timed pages. And at the end of the day, you're a solo streamer and you want to be able to do live graphics like this. This is really what's gonna be the most beneficial tool in order to allow you to maximize how much content you can get on screen at any given time. Now, there's another element here and I'll go back to the bug layer in order to, to show it to you. This is a pause feature. Now, I have my looping bug up here, but the problem with it is that it's always on, and I still want to kind of forget about it, but I don't want to stay on all the time. So what I can do is I can add a pause, okay? I, I click on the new page, drop down, pause, and this pause comes in here with no duration. Now, when you bring in a page with no duration into a looping layer, it's going to pass by that page because there's no timer in it, okay? Now, it'll only recognize it the moment, the moment you put a time on it, it's gonna recognize that page. So when I click this pause and I put a five second duration on it, once it hits that pause, it's gonna kick out that playlist for the amount of time I set the pause for. And if it's on a loop, it's gonna come back and play the next page. And here it comes. Boom, right back to the beginning of the playlist. Now I can take that pause and I can drag it anywhere, okay? So if it's an auto advance, it's the same thing. I just put on an auto advance on that bug layer, and I am going to step away from it. There's the pause, and back again, and it'll go off when it gets to the bottom of that playlist. I've, got, I've stepped away from it, I've come back to my main here, and there it goes. It's really nice. But what about not even having to go back to the playlist at all. I set these playlists, I got my ticker, it's on an auto advance, I got my bug, it's on a loop, and I got my pause set in it in there. I'm gonna set the pause for 10 seconds now. That would be a more realistic playlist for me if I wanted to do a looping bug that reminds everybody of the status of my production right now, okay? So I'm gonna go back to my main layer, I'm gonna tell you about shortcuts. I got my shortcut um, graphic up right now. But I want to bring on my ticker. I can just go to the indicator that's not on, and I can click on it, and it's going to bring up that playlist based on whatever setting it currently has. So that is an auto advance for duplicate pages with seven-second duration. And you can see it. It's really a powerful tool. I can walk away from that now, and I can, I can tell you about this uh, other feature right here, this, this control 
um, URL that I wanted to tell you about. And this is a, uh, this generates a URL for you to pass on this control page to anyone uh, without having to log into your administrative account. So anyone can control your graphics for you if you, uh, if they have their computer in Chrome and you want them to do so. So that's that right there. And you can see, look, I've still got my ticker on there. I'm gonna get rid of this little lower third right here. And I'm gonna go up to my bug and I'm gonna remind that I, that I want it to be on with a quick playlist there. And I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna tell you about updating, okay? Updating is in the top right hand corner of your browser right here. So you wanna make sure that you are changing your versions based on what it is that we're releasing. We'll let you know when we release a new version of Studio, but it's pretty important to come back and if you feel like something's not working properly or you wanna get the most out of what Studio has to offer, you go up to that those development tools and you grab or change the version, update your version of Studio. Well, I think that that, I'm gonna take all of my graphics out of here. I'm gonna come back to my main camera. I'm gonna come back to my, mm, oh, my show logo. I forgot that. And there's my upper loop again in the package. And, uh, and I'm gonna remind you all again, thank you for stopping by. You should have everything that you need to know about Studio now. Go ahead and grab a theme practice. You're gonna find that with these tools, the, the, as flexible as they are, you're gonna be able to transform and change the way that you wanna uh, tell your own story and create your content. And I will always remind you that if you need more help to get over to the uh, Knowledge Center, there's a help desk in your dashboard. Get over there and get more documentation tutorials as needed. Thank you.